Hello, second and third grade artists. Welcome back. It's me, Mrs. Walters. I am here to do another demonstration for your art activity this week. This week we're going to be learning about the artist Pablo Picasso and if you haven't already, go watch that video about his art. He was a very interesting man and had some really cool art. So today we're going to be doing part one of our two-part lesson. So next week we'll be finishing our art and we'll be coloring it in. We'll be learning about um, some different colors that we can use. But today we'll be doing our portraits, drawing, and doing some different types of lines. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to fold our paper. So we want to fold our paper so we have some different lines um, dividing our paper. That will be important next week. So you can fold your paper any way we just want at least a few folds so that our paper is divided. So I'm going to fold my paper once. Twice. And you don't have to fold your paper super hard or, or crease super hard, but we do want to be able to find those creases later. And three times. Now, you're going to want to go back over those crease lines with something dark or black. I'm going to use a Sharpie marker. You can use a Sharpie marker, or if you don't have a Sharpie marker, you can always use a regular marker or a black crayon, a black color pencil, anything dark that will show up. And I'm just going to go really carefully find those folds and trace over the line. It doesn't have to be a perfect line, but you can use a ruler if you want it to be perfectly straight. Now I only did three lines, but you want at least three, probably not more than four lines. Any more than that and next week when we start to color our picture in it's going to get a little difficult to separate our colors. Alright, so remember this is going to be a portrait. If you don't know what a portrait is, a portrait is a picture of a person and this is actually going to be a self-portrait. So a self-portrait is a picture that we draw of ourselves. So the first thing we need in our portrait is our head. So remember, Picasso was an artist that kind of exaggerated features. He did features that weren't based in reality. So when we draw our head, it doesn't necessarily have to be a round shape or a perfect shape. So I'm going to kind of go and do like an oblong, kind of a, kind of looks like a peanut, doesn't it? So that's going to be my head. Now, if you looked at the week 11 folder, you should have seen some reference parts, some face parts. I want you to pause the video and I want you to go pull up that sheet so you have something to look at. Alright, hopefully you've had a chance to pull up that reference sheet. Um, if you didn't get a chance to pull it up, that's okay. You can always watch this video through and then go back and do your art then. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the reference sheet to choose some face shapes that are a little bit um, abstract or exaggerated. So if you watch the video with some of Picasso's art, we see that some of the face shapes are not what we would see in a realistic um, portrait or in a photograph. Um, they're a little bit mismatched so I'm going to choose some eyes from that sheet. So I'm going to make my eye a little bit mismatched like he, he would do. One open, one closed. And then one thing that we did notice in the video of Picasso's artwork is that the facial features are often offset. That means that they're not placed um, 
symmetrical, like we would draw our facial features. So maybe our nose might be placed off to the side, not in the middle. And then we might also do the same thing with the mouth. So when we're drawing our mouth, instead of drawing it in line with the nose, we might draw it down and off to the side. And then we might do the same thing with the ears. Normally our ears would be in line with our nose, but maybe we draw them a little bit lower and then one might be a little higher. So now I have eyes, nose, ears, mouth, those are the major parts of our face. And you can add your hair however you want. Um, that was not on the reference sheet, so choose to draw it how you want. I'm going to draw my hair. Kind of like that. And there's my abstract Picasso portrait. Now, next week we will be coloring our portraits in. Um, make sure you turn in tune into that lesson. Make sure that you put your Picasso portrait somewhere safe so that you can access it for next week. Um, clip it to the fridge, put it in a folder, put it with your other schoolwork, save it for next week because we will be using these portraits for next week's lesson. All right, thank you for tuning in and doing some art with me. I hope you have a great rest of your week. See you guys later.